It's me, Mario. Hello. Okie dokie.
Yeah, I tried to play vanilla SM64. I got incredibly angry at how dumb the camera is. I totally forgot that it just like would just start rotating around you at random points in the level, and I just like cannot remember how to deal with any of it. Got him! About time. Yeah, let's get that. I don't remember whether which one the uh, actual red coin star spawned in. But I'll try and keep my eye out for it. I don't just get lost at the very end. <laughs> yeah, that was the bigger I was actually the bottom here. it ever is to happen hey like I feel like at some point at some point they're gonna have to recognize that like out of all of their old games there's a couple of them that are gonna, gonna be around for fucking millions of years you know but uh doesn't feel like that's gonna be anytime soon no I didn't want that to drop down there fuck 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 wait I, I can spare one but still hopefully I can still get it Well, let me see. No! Uh, duh. Hopefully I don't lose the Scuttlebug coins. Um, well, that's... Hmm, maybe they'll spawn in a better place. Maybe not. You guys want to come out of the ceiling, please? I will be so annoyed if I can't finish it because of those guys. 
Oh, I got the um, There's some somewhere outside. There's some under a door. Which one? Am I gonna die? Please tell me this coins. Thank God. Yeah, I don't know if they're releasing the same thing constantly counts. Like, Ocarina of Time 3D, they put a lot of effort into it. Same with Super Mario 64 DS. And then they just sort of haven't really cared about any of their own re releases. And they haven't re released those ones either, which is particularly interesting, I feel. Like, they didn't make, like, every subsequent release of those games be some HD remaster using the assets of those games. So it's like, no, those are the portable ones. Um. Are these scuttlebugs ever gonna come back? Maybe they'll attack me if I'm close. Hey. Please. Please! Oof. Alright, I have a big room. Have you played, um, Odyssey? Because I have not. It seems a lot like Sunshine to me. I 100%ed I Sunshine recently, and uh, it really seems like Odyssey is trying to be like a sequel to that game. Like, Galaxy was the, the thing that was closer to being a sequel to Mario 64, yeah. Especially Galaxy 2. It's like, not really much going on there except for platforming, which is nice. Some handle as well as Mario 64. Though. Hey Rising, I'm good, thanks, how are you? Yeah, Sunshine was on GameCube. Actually borrowed the uh, physical disc to play it as well, which is Played an actual GameCube disc. Played it on my Wii, of course. Same thing. <laughs> um, Explore in case I drown. There we go, there was. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I can think of where 14 coins are. I also just forgot one red somewhere. And that would be the one with the red coin stars ones, actually. Sleep well. Hopefully, my rhythmic swimming will help uh, lull me to sleep. Thank you. 
What about you? Oh god. Give me the coins, please. Please, please, please. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so where's the last red? Which room is that? Is that the room for the metal cap bullshit? I don't remember where you go to do that. Wait, no. That's where I am now. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, there are instruments that like struggle with um, high pitch ranges. Oh my god, am I gonna have to do this again? I am. Oh well, it's only one thing. Otherwise, this went swimmingly. I am nervous I'm going to drown doing this because I can't check her out. Just got a bit lost in the start there. Thank god. <laughs> like, please let me pass these ants. Very good for uh, pirating games. Um, as far as the games that were actually on that system, I mean, Galaxy was great. I mean, Mario and Zelda are always great, right? And Smash Brothers and stuff. Oh my god, these kids screaming like they're dying outside. It's like incredibly distracting. I live for a third not playground, but they like fucking sound like they're like 17. <laughs> Did I just go too far? I've never gone too far. I didn't know you could. Oh no. Uh, oh well, at least I'm halfway down towards where I was going anyway. <laughs> Modern Vintage Gamer sounds familiar. I think I know what channel it is, but I haven't seen that much of it. It just comes on occasionally because I watch similar stuff. Oh, shit, this kid's alive. How did I get through then? Wow. I bet I'm gonna actually die to those ants. That's gonna be what, what ants is, for sure. Not gonna be me getting this stuff. Oh, please. Are you fucking kidding me? Every time I've done that I just try to do it as far as possible. I guess I'm just too good now? <laughs> How am I getting through without getting shocked? <laughs> Why? This camera is starting to get on my nerves. <laughs>
That guy was fun this time. Maybe. Uh, my favorite thing on the way, that's what I was talking about, yeah, uh, was uh, all the old, like, light gun shooters. Um, you know, because light guns don't work particularly well in the modern era, considering the CRT, if you've got an old console and stuff. It's really nice to have all these old arcade games that never had at home before. Oh my god, I thought there was more of a ledge there! You're fucking kidding! I don't want to do this all fucking day! I've already finished! It didn't take me this many tries to get the star that's in there. That's, this is so fucking dumb. I don't want to be stuck at 99 coins for 10 hours. If I had, like, realized there was not much of a ledge there, I would have just fucking wall kicked again. I had plenty of time to react to it. Okay. Please don't die. Please don't die. I missed the stroke. Don't die, 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 don't die. I like Scout, so. I also played Twilight Princess on my way, and I haven't played the GameCube version. No, oh, that's the 100 coin star. Where am I meant to go now? Where is that? <laughs> Is that the, uh... Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, opposite side to the invisibility cap. Um... Top of the big room, I think? Oh, uh, it won't be hard now, because um, the 100 coin star is actually what was making this hard. The red coin star I've already done like twice, I just haven't collected it. Where am I? What the fuck? Ah, uh, go back to air. <laughs> Oh, I accidentally, uh, loaded a save state that's missing a star. I actually do have every star in this course except for this one now. Oh, I just noticed that the star's later on. Where am I going? This isn't the right place. Uh... Let me stop and think about this. Invisibility box one is there. So I want to come out on the other side. It's that hole, actually, I think. So... That is this one. No, the one below it. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, now I'm here. Where is it? Here. No. What? There's nothing here. Uh. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest fucking star completion I've ever done just because I have no fucking idea what I'm supposed to be fucking doing. <laughs> Uh, I was on this one, but I didn't realize. Um, does that count? <laughs> Not that one. Yeah, I didn't realize that you have to like go to a special setting and enable it, and it doesn't give you any notification. 
the, no, I wasn't on a team before this one. Just this is the only one I've ever been on. I've ever been on. I should have got added probably about two months after I did my Australian speedrunning marathon run. It's not a place. I'm just gonna start trying random holes. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all day. I can't believe I didn't notice. I told myself to check. But I just did not notice which one had it in there. It's something I like always forget about in games that like this hard. That like the red coin star is never gonna be right next to you at the end. Or at, like right at the start, like it normally is in casual hacks. It's gonna be somewhere stupid. Right. This looks promising. Hey! I did it! And let me fix that star I didn't have. Um, okay, edit. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm accurate. 